Hi, I'm Dave Cuthbertson, one of the directors at AssetGen. This video will show how we can save effort diagramming networks, particularly where we have to relay them out, as well as control the port information and how we display it and its positioning. And one of the other parts of the network connector is that we can often use spreadsheets and databases to help enhance our diagrams and to help with the maintenance. The starting point for a lot of people doing network diagramming is illustrated by this simple display of just a switch and a server and we would use the network connector tool and we would link the two together. To provide the information of the specific ports that link them together we would then just type the name of the port and we would try and make it so that we have the order correct so that then we can then say that port number four is on uh, the switch and NIC A is on the server. The difficulty with doing this is that if the components are far apart it's difficult to read and if we move or change anything so for instance if I change things and I laid it out so the switch is on the bottom you can now see that actually NIC A is not on the server anymore according to the diagram. So every time you relay out diagrams you may have to go and check the positioning of all the port information to make sure it's appropriate. So what's a better way than this? And this is why we developed our Intelligent Network Connector. But we also make use of a number of other techniques. So let's bring in our connector. So this is the connector, and we're going to connect it to the two components that we see there. And so the first thing you notice is the port information is separate. The second thing is we do a right click on here, and we look at shape data. The actual port information is coming from the shape data properties of the connector, and we can load in that data from spreadsheets and databases. And this is the technique that we use with our AssetGen Connect system to be able to produce and maintain large numbers of network diagrams down at port level detail, because we're filling in all the connector details effectively from a database, and that controls all the changes. If I make any changes to the data, if I make this from port 23 to port 24, because somebody moved the connection, that's then reflected in the diagram, so it makes it much easier if we're reusing this information. A couple of other things that we have, you can see there's obviously other information you may want to have or keep within there, which is now appropriate. The VLANs, the cable identifiers, could be is it copper or fiber, port types. It's really up to yourself. Shape data is something that you as users can customize. If I do a right click on the actual connector, you'll see I've got various options at the top of the menu here. And one of them is I can hide all the information so that I don't have any clutter. So I have the information if I want it. Let's just bring it back. So show all ports. Looks like show ports. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can uh, swap the ports because if we brought this information in from a spreadsheet, we may not necessarily have connected the right ends together. So I can just swap it around to make it sure that it's appropriate. And as I move components around, you'll see the label sometimes will disappear in different places. But in order to actually make this better than the previous standard Visio connector, if we click on the actual connector itself, we get little yellow handles that allow us to then position where is the most appropriate place for readability, particularly if we have large numbers of diagrams and large amounts of information. So that's the first point, and that's the basics of the network connector. So what we'll do is we'll look at a slightly different implementation now. How would we connect things together in maybe a bigger environment? Here I've got a number of servers and firewalls, and I have a switch, but the difference here now is that I have the ability to link to a spreadsheet to underpin my connectors. And so here I have a spreadsheet that I've brought in using the data function. If you've not used this before, it's available in the data menu and you can see where it says custom or quick import. This allows you to bring in a spreadsheet. And there's a format which is very similar and it could have more data than actually in the connector itself. If I drag across our data connector from the stencil which you get as part of our download, I can link just by dragging and dropping onto the connector all of that data and you'll now see the port names appear as you saw in there. So this would go from s to switch port 1 slash 1 and it goes to server A and is ETH1. And I can drag across another connector and I can take the second connection, drag it in, and it's now port 1 slash 2, drag it to the switch and drag it to the server. And you see there that one of the challenges that Visio has is it lays connectors on top of each other. But that's why we developed our 
network layout module. And if I went through and I did all of these, I'll just bring, it's the same process. I can speed the process up a little bit just by selecting the connector and doing shift select for the, all the various connections here and drag and drop them all on the page. And every time I select a connector, and the easiest thing is to use shape data, every time I select connector, I can see this goes from port switch 111 there, and the other connection goes to firewall B. And 110 goes to firewall A. And so there, I've now linked all the connectors and all of the shape data to the switch. Because we're using straight connectors in this case, it's put them all, as you can see, there into the center. And the final part, having got roughly the positioning and the sizing that I want, is to use our layout connections utility to then equally position things. And it will move the connectors to the edges of the shapes, so it's then easy to see. And we can see that in some cases, if we just zoom in here, uh, the labels are not easy to read, so what I might do is I might position them to the left and the right, where appropriate. Let's take uh, this label here and do the same as well. And we may want to try and avoid going over the line. It's really up to yourself as how you do it. Of course, I may position the servers and others to make it more appropriate. But that's a nice, simple, easy way to show things. Uh, we may have the ports not necessarily in the same order. We can always re just remove and change some of those. So I could change 1.5. And that's a very quick and simple way to actually show how we've linked things together. If I go to a bigger diagram, you'll then see that uh, here we have information. We can't see any port level information, but we've used our intelligent network connector and automatically created this diagram from our AssetGen Connect system. It's linked all the shapes, it's put in shape data, for all the components, so we have IP addresses, locations, model numbers, and other things. But I can click on any connector, and I can then bring on and say, show all the ports. And you can see there's a little bit of clutter there. Alternatively, if I hide all the ports again, hide all ports, I can just bring in the ones that are important the diagram, because we wanted to just show specific information between various components. So I can individually bring in and show information. And then as you can see, I will always need to think about readability just to make it so that it's easy to read with no misinterpretations. And in this case here, it's just a slightly little bit more cluttered. We may position them. But you always know exactly which ports you're dealing with because you'll see the little yellow dots saying this is the text associated with that network connector. So very easy to do. If I change the data in the database or change the data in the spreadsheets, I can refresh the diagrams and all the port and other information will then be updated. So that's an introduction to our network connector. Hope you find it useful and obviously take advantage of it as much as you can.